checking and I'm seeing how many times three goes into seven. Well, I know it's three, six, nine, and so I'm looking for the one that's closest to seven, but that's smaller, which is that six. So that's one, two groups. So I need to put a two in there because I can make two groups. Next, I'm going to follow my steps of does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? So I just divided. Divide is when I write up top, which is why it's also up top. So now I multiply. And I always use the number I just wrote, that 2, times my divisor, 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So now I'm going to subtract. 7 minus 6 is 1. I'm going to check. Is this 1, the number I just wrote, less than my divisor. If it is, then I can keep going. If not, I have to go back and pick a bigger number. And then I have my last step of bring down. So now my next step is I just go back to the top, divide. 3 goes into 18 how many times? Well, I know it's 12, 15, 18. So that would be 3 groups for 9, 4 groups for 12, 5 groups for 15, 6 groups for 18. And I see that 6 is right there. So now my next step is multiply. I just divided because I wrote up top. 6 times 3 is 18. So I'm putting that 8 in. I then subtract. 18 minus 18 is 0. I check 0 is less than 3. There's nothing to bring down, so I am done. Let's go to our next one. So again, it's 3 goes into 8 how many times? Well, I already have my 3 facts over here, so this one might be a little bit easy for me especially if I don't know my division facts. But on the side, I'm just going to write my does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers. Divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down. 3 goes into 8 2 times. So now I multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. Then I subtract. 8 minus 6 is 2. Then I check. 2 is less than 3. So now I bring down. And now I go back to the top. 3 goes into 26 how many times? Well, I don't have it on my chart over here, so I'm going to keep extending if I don't know my facts. 27 is too big, so I go to one right below it. So that would be 24, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 groups. So I put that 8 in. When I write up top, that's my dividing. That's how many groups I can make. It's also easy to remember because divide is at the top of my um, does McDonald's sell cheeseburger sentence. Next, I multiply. The number I just wrote, 8 times 3 is 24. Then I subtract. I'm left with 2. I'm going to check. Is 2 less than my divisor 3? It is. I bring down. There's nothing to bring down, so that is my remainder. So my answer is 28, remainder 2. All right, let's go on to our next one now. I'm just going to erase those so I can reuse it. Next one. 8 goes into 4 zero times, so that's why I'm going to 41. 8 goes into 41 five times. I already know that because they wrote the 5 there for me, which is helpful. So now multiply 5 times 8 is 40. Subtract 41 minus 40 is 1. Check this 1 is less than 8. So now bring down. 8 goes into 17. Well, there's 8, 16, 24. So that's 2 times. So that's my divide. Next, I multiply. 2 times 8 is 16. Then I subtract. I check. Is the number I just wrote less than my divisor? It is. So my last step is bring down. I have nothing to bring down. So that means I'm done. This is my remainder. That is my leftovers. All right. Let's check this last one. I'm just going to reuse this again on the side. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. 4 goes into 9 two times. 2 times 4 is 8, which they already wrote for me. Then I subtract, and I'm left with 1. I'm going to check. 1 is less than 4, so I'm good to bring down. Now 4 goes into 13. Well, I know 4 times 3 is 12. And 12 is close to 13, so I'm going to try 3. That is my divide. That's how many groups I can make. So now I multiply. 3 times 4 is 12. Then I subtract, which they already did for me. I'm going to check. 1 is less than 4. 
So now I bring down, but there's nothing to bring down. So that is my remainder. That is my leftover. My answer is 23, remainder 1. Let's now go on to our next one. So again, I have, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? 8 goes into 5 zero times. So I'm now going to go to 2 place values. 8 goes into 52. Well, I don't know my 8's facts as well as I should. So if I don't, I can make a list on the side of 8, 16, 24, 32. I'm just counting by 8's. 40, 48, 56. And I see 56 is too big, so I'm going to go to that 48, which I then see is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups. So it's going to go in 6 times. I'm going to multiply, which I already did right here. So I know 8 times 6 is 48. I'm now going to subtract. I have to re regroup. 12 minus 8 is 4. Check. 4 is less than 8, so I'm good to keep going. Bring down 6. So now I go back to the top. 8 goes into 46 how many times? Well, 48 is too big here, but this 40 is perfect. So that is 5 groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I multiply. 5 times 8 is 40. Subtract. Check. 6 is less than 8, so I'm good to keep going. Bring down. There's nothing to bring down, so that is my remainder. That is what I'm left with. 65. Remainder 6. Let's check our next one now. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? 7 goes into 8 one time, so that's my divide. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract. Check. 1 is less than 7, so I'm good now to bring down. 7 goes into 18 two times because I know 2 times 7 is 14. So remember, when I divide, that's how many groups I'm making, and it goes up top. Next is I multiply, which I just did, so now I subtract. 18 minus 14 is 4. I can check. 4 is less than 7, so now I have my bring down step, but there's nothing to bring down, so that is my remainder. Let's go on to our next one. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? This one's going to be a little bit longer. So now I have 3 goes into 7 two times because 2 times 3 is 6. Now my next step is multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. Then I subtract, which is 1. I check 1 is less than 3, so I can keep going. Now I bring down. 3 goes into 16. Well, I know 5 times 3 is 15, so it's going to go in 5 times. My next step is I multiply. 5 times 3 is that 15 that I just wrote. Then I subtract. I check. 1 is less than 3, so I'm going to keep going for my bring down step. 3 goes into 11. Well, I know it's 3, 6, 9, so that is 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Then I subtract. I'm going to check 2 is less than 3. There's nothing to bring down, so that is my remainder. My answer is 253, remainder 2. Our very last one on this page is, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? I just use this to make sure I don't skip any steps. 6 goes into 9 one time. Then I multiply. 1 times 6 is 6. Then I subtract. I'm going to check 3 is less than 6, so now I can bring down. 6 goes into 36, 6 times. I know that because 6 times 6 is 36. So now I multiply. 6 times 6 is the 36 I just stated. Now I subtract, and I'm left with 0. I'm going to check. 0 is less than 6, so I am good. And there's nothing to bring down, so my answer is 16. I don't have remainder because there is no remainder on this one. Now let's go to our next page, the hardware ones on the back. Let's slide that down to the bottom. Some of the tallest selenite crystals in a cave in Chihuahua, Mexico, so sorry for mispronouncing that, are 50 feet tall. Nathan is 4 feet tall. About how many times as tall as Nathan are the tallest crystals? So it's basically asking us what would happen if we just stacked Nathan on top until he got to about the height of those crystals. Well, I have 50 feet tall, and I'm going to be breaking it up in two groups of four because I'm stacking Nathans on top of each other to see how many it would be. 
So I'm going to do 50 divided by 4, but there's this key thing about. So I'm going to think what number is 50 close to that 4 can go into. And if I know my 4's facts, especially my 12's, I know that 50 is really close to 48. So I'm going to have 48 divided by 4. So now I can think 48 divided by 4, but actually, I'm going to notice, if I know my 12's facts, it's 4 times what equals 48? That's 12. But I'm going to check just using our division that we practiced today. So does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? 4 goes into 4 one time, that's my divide. Multiply 4 times 1 is 4. Subtract 4 minus 4 is 0. Check, 0 is less than 4. Bring down. Then I go back to the top. 4 goes into 8 two times. Multiply the number I just wrote, 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract 8 minus 8 is 0. Check, 0 is less than my divisor 4. Bring down, there's nothing to bring down, so my answer is 12. I would need 12 Nathans to equal the height of this crystal, which means that crystal is about 12 Nathans tall. Our next one. The Galveston Port Boulevard Ferry takes cars across Galveston Bay. One day, the ferry transported a total of 685 cars over a five-hour period. The ferry took the same number of cars each hour. How many cars did it take each hour? Well, they already have this nice thing for us here. Remember, my models, when I go from something large to something small, and they're equal groups, that is always division. So I'm going from 685 to 5. So I'm going to erase a little bit because I realize I need more room. 685 divided by 5. So I'm going to write, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers again? And I have 5 goes into 6 one time. Multiply 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract 6 minus 5 is 1. Check, 1 is less than 5, so now I can do my last step of bring down. 5 goes into 18, well it's 5, 10, 15, which is 3 groups. Remember, divide always goes up top. It's easy to remember because it's the very beginning of our does McDonald's sell cheeseburger sentence. Next is multiply, 5 times 3 is 15. Subtract, check, 3 is less than 5, so I can keep going. Then my last step is bring down. 5 goes into 35 7 times. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So remember, after my bring down, I go to the top. My next step now is my multiply. 7 times 5 is 35. Then I subtract. And then I check. Is 0 less than 5? It is. There's nothing to bring down, so this is my answer. Since I have some work here, I'm going to circle it. Just so Mr. Wimbley, so myself, can find that answer easily. Our next one has one of my favorite video game series, Zelda. So Zelda has a piece of fabric that is 74 inches long. She wants to divide it into two equal pieces. So remember, equal pieces and my word divide, so I know I'm going to be dividing. So here I have 74 divided by 2. I'm going to again write my sentence, divide, multiply, subtract, check, and B. 2 goes into 7, 2, 4, 6 times. So now I'm going to check my multiplication. There's going to be an error as I do this problem. So watch. Multiply. 6 times 2 is 12. And I need to make sure I always write in the same place value. But look, I'm outside of my writing. So that means there's a mistake here. So remember, when you're dividing, you don't write what it equals up top. 2 times 3 is 6. You write how many groups. So I write that 3. My next step is I multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. Then I subtract. And I'm going to check. 1 is less than 2. So now I bring down. And remember, I go back to the top. I'm going to pretend I don't know my multiplication facts very well. So I'm going to think 2 goes into 14 6 times. So where there's my divide. Then I multiply. 6 times 2 is 12. And then I subtract, and I get 2. And I check, is 2 less than 2? It's not. So if when I check, 
is not less than, that means I have to go back up until I get to my very beginning, up until I get to that division part. So I'm going to keep erasing. And I know that 6 is wrong because I did not get a number that was smaller. So let's try a number that's bigger. So let's try 7. Multiply 7 times 2 is 14. Subtract. And I get 0. Check. 0 is less than 2 this time. There's nothing to bring down. So my answer is 37 inches. So each one will have a length of 37. All right, number 16. We have Meg is making trail mix. She makes four batches of the recipe. She divides it into three equal size bags. So I know I'm going to be doing some division here. How many ounces are in each bag? Well, here's the problem. This right here is all one batch. So I'm making four of those. So I'm not going to divide all these by three. I have to first see how much she's making all together. So if this is one batch, I'm going to add up all of my ounces. This is 10 ounces. 5 plus 3 is 8. And I then know that 10 plus 8 is 18. So one batch is equal to 18 ounces. And now it's saying I'm making those four batches. So I need to multiply 4 times 18 because I have one batch, two batch, three batch, four batch, and they are all 18 ounces. So here, I'm going to have 18 times 4, and this is going to tell me how much total I have. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 1 is 1, plus 3 is 7. So I am going to have 72 total ounces. But then, what I have here is, I'm taking all of this together, she's like combine it, and then she split it into three equal size bags. So I need to do my division. So does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? So three goes into seven two times. Multiply, two times three is six. Subtract, and I'm left with one. Check, one is less than three, so now I can bring down two. Three goes into 12 four times because 4 times 3 is 12. So now I multiply. 4 times 3 is 12. Subtract, I get 0. Check, 0 is less than 3. There's nothing to bring down, so my answer is 24 ounces, abbreviated OZ for this one. We have two more to go. In one week, the Green Recycling Center received 784 Luma cans. They received the same number of cans each day. So I'm in one week, and I know a week is seven days. How many cans does the recycling center receive each day? Well, I have 784, and I'm breaking it up into groups of seven. So I have seven goes into seven one time. Multiply, subtract, check. Zero is less than seven, so I can bring down eight. Seven goes into eight one time for my divide. Multiply, one times seven is seven. Subtract, eight minus seven is one. Check, one is less than seven bring down. Now I go back to the top, divide. 7 goes into 14 two times. Multiply. 2 times 7 is 14. Subtract. 14 minus 14 is 0. Check. 0 is less than 7. Bring down. There's nothing to bring down. And I see my answer here matches this one here, so I'm pretty confident in my answer. Number 18. Every year the city of San Marcos holds a Cinco de Mayo festival. If there are 60 students, that perform in five equal groups. So my key thing being that equal, how many students are in each group? Well, I have this number 60, and I break it up into five groups. So one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm figuring out how big each one is. Remember, when I go from something large to small equal groups, that's division. So I have 60 divided by five. So I'm going to have five goes into six, one time, that's my divide, multiply. Five times one is five, subtract, one. Check, is one less than five? It is, so I can bring down. Now I go back to the top, divide. Five goes into 10, well it's five, 10, so that is two groups. Now I multiply the number I just wrote, two times five is 10, subtract, check, zero is less than five, bring down, there's nothing to bring down, so my answer is 12, and that is 